Okay, everybody, this is Gavin. Uh, we're here playing The Wolf Among Us, episode 2. Chances are, if you're here, you've probably already seen my first playthrough in episode 1. Or my playthrough of episode 1, rather. <laughs> um, so I probably don't need to explain a whole lot. So, let's just get right into this. I'm going to shut up and we're going to do this. Mr. Toad? Do something, Big B. Before he completely tears up the place. Whoa, 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 hey, hey! You've got something on your face. Fuck are you talking about, you stupid cunt? You're not as bad as everyone says you are. Please, Bigby. Promise me you won't tell Beast you saw me. Look, whatever it is, it's between you and Beast. I'm staying out of it. It's not what you might be thinking. Have you seen my wife? Have you seen Beauty? Come with me. No. Don't interrupt me, Miss Snow! You asked me a question. Don't change the subject. You are to blame for this unpleasantness, Miss Snow. No, I'm D. He's dumb. You're gonna tell me, right now, but- Dad! I'm looking for the woodsman. Well, he's not here. Holly, you're out of paper towels and the... Uh, they're gonna string me up, Bigby. Like you said, it looks fucking bad. It looks really bad, but I didn't do it. All right, I got a hundred bucks for the first bloke that could tell me something about a girl named... Fuck, man! This fucking lap dog. Come sniffing around this part of town. Fucks in the woods need to shake down. Ain't that right, Big B? Now things are worse off than they've ever been. Well, that's not true. Right. We've had it worse, but not by much. So yeah, that was a nice little recap of uh, what happened in the first episode. Like I said, you if you're watching this, I'm at least gonna hope you've seen um I have to play through the first part. This is right at the end of episode one. Just Mr. Wolf. Yeah, Snow White died. That was a thing. You're making this more difficult than it has to be. If you just cooperate and answer the questions, you can go home. Maybe get some sleep. How are you feeling? I know it's been a long night for you. You look like you could use some rest. I'm not even gonna lie. I'm pretty fucking pissed off right now. If I'm honest, I'd like to smash everything in this room. Is that a threat? Depends on how much you like the furniture. I didn't think that was funny, in case you were waiting for me to laugh. I thought it was pretty funny. You just Look, don't have a very good sense of humor. I know what you must be going through. Really, no, don't. I do. But I could use your cooperation. You... you know, I hate to say it, but I don't think you Have you do. ever had your friend's head chopped of off and put on your doorstep? You're, no? You're right. I can't imagine I think what so. you're going through right now. Yeah. Don't say you know what I'm going through. You don't know what I'm going through. What is it with you cops? Always quit, trying to end Quit drawing dicks on that. This is important. I know this must be hard for you. Do you? Do you fucking know? Have you had a friend killed and their head left at your fucking doorstep? No, didn't think so. See, I mean, Bigby feel the exact same way. Your nose is bleeding. <gasps> you missed a spot. Missed spot. Yeah, you just smeared it across your face. You got a tissue <laughs> or something? Detective Brannigan? 
I'm Detective Brannigan. Uh, yeah. I know. Yeah. I just said that. Is there something? Do we hear that? Yeah. Hear what? Oh, I hear something, but I don't think Bigby Please. hears it. Please. Okay. What did I'm I do? Sorry. Just make it stop, please. Oh, this is gonna look really bad. Granted, they have it on tape, so they know I didn't do anything, but. Huh. We have to go Dow. now. You. What, uh. What did you do to her? She'll what be did fine. You do there? It's just a memory wipe spell. Very expensive, but it works. The whole station will forget the last 24 hours and everything they saw at the woodlands. Well, hurry okay. up. That's good. They, um... They're gonna be kind of confused by that picture, aren't they? Okay, so now what do I do? <laughs> Where are we going to from here? Dickabod. Dickabod. Pain in the ass. Oh. Quit looking in the mirror. We need to stay focused. <coughs> hey. I still don't like change you. anything. You're a dick. Fine. We um we found Tweedledee chained up to a post. That was your doing, correct? Yeah. No, it was the fucking tooth fairy. Well, I don't know why you detained him. D was at the trip trap when Snow was left at the woodlands, so he couldn't possibly be involved in this mayhem. Bluebeard's currently interrogating him. And he hasn't said anything useful. There's two of them. He's got her brother. And, dumb, and they've been snooping Idiot. around every crime scene I've Tweedle been Tweedledee, Tweedledum. That doesn't mean they're necessarily involved well, I'm beginning involved to think the, the dumb is more fitting for you. I know what you're thinking, Bigby. It's been one full now? night and a slice of morning, and I already miss her too. Bullshit. I don't believe you. You know, I never get more homesick than when one of us dies. And now, were it to be snow, I've never been good with these sorts of things. I just can't believe this is really happening. Give me a fucking break. What? You treated her like the fucking maid, and now? You want a shoulder to cry on? You didn't care then, and you don't care now. That is not true. Not true at all. I thought we had some common ground. Could discuss this like gentlemen. Nope, you're an ass. Let's get something straight here, all right? We had exactly nothing in common. Everything that connects us is dead and gone. I don't know why I'm asking you, but did she give any indication as to what she was thinking? When you saw her last, I mean. I don't know why, but I'd like to know that she was... I guess fine, I suppose. She just told me to be careful. She was always fond of you, Bigby. I don't know what else to say, Bigby. We have to have to put an end to this. Really? It's been too sure to do that. And been Get right on it. If we don't unearth our culprit, and soon there will likely be another on our doorstep tonight. I'll get it done. Please, Bigby, for Miss White. I got it. Ha! Car's a piece of shit anyway.
That's not a very good answer, is it? Come on. Just tell me what I want to know. It will make things a lot less painful for you. In theory. Oh, were you planning on using that? <laughs> I just thought you really liked rubbing your little sword. What the hell do you think you're doing? Hello, Ichabod. Sheriff. He's getting answers. Bluebeard. I was just chatting with our new friend. You were supposed to wait for us to get back. I told you, if you want to be involved, you will do things my way. No violence! Well, well that's not very fun. Say, Ichabod? Hello, like a good cup, Big bad cup B. thing? I want answers, D. Oh, goody. I thought you wanted questions, and I was having so much trouble thinking of any good ones. Though I'd settled on, how's your head? You see what I've been dealing with? What are you going to do about this, Bigby? Do you think this is a joke? Snow White is dead. Look, I didn't kill anyone. And I'm supposed okay. to just believe you. You were with me when Wait. it happened, dummy. Yeah, that's true. I still have questions for you, D. Where's Sounds your brother, like though? A personal problem. This is ridiculous. You know I yeah, saw you at Faith's, Faith's Why? apartment. What were you doing there? Girl's got air conditioning. You can't imagine what it's like living in a little shithole with no air, especially with this heat wave going on. Wrong answer. Right, <laughs> Bluebeard just kind of smiled Let's at get that. To know each other. Come on. What is it now, Big B? I'll ask you again. Why were you at Faith's? Got a cool Come off on. somewhere. You're not going to make this easy, you know, are I you? I really like spending time with you, Big B. You're so pleasant. Let's be friends. Yeah? You mind loosening those? I can barely feel my fingers. Good. Let me get right on that. Real Better? cute. You prick. Just tell me what you were doing at Faith's apartment. I can't tell you. And pushing me around isn't going to change that. My brother and no? I work hard. And we keep our mouths shut. That's the deal. I forgot about So what about your brother? Dumb, right? How appropriate. Where was your brother last night? Are you accusing him of something? What do you think? Maybe. He didn't do it if that's what you're getting at. He didn't kill her. You have no okay. fucking right to keep me here. You have no evidence. Give me my stuff and let me go. What did you find on him? Oh, uh, nothing of consequence, really. Anything good? Playboys, booze. Oh, well, well. Is that a bottle of booze? He's just oh, going too far. All right. Sometimes you have to play the bad cop. You know that. Let's you see always got carry here. this much cash. I don't like banks. So what? Hmm. I'm declaring a tax on uncooperative troublemakers. You're not gonna need that. What the fuck kind of a shakedown is this? You'll need to account for that. Good kind. You can't just... There are procedures to be followed. We'll Shut talk up, about Ichabod. it later. Where's your brother, D? I don't know, okay? I haven't seen him since I left to go find Faith's... Since we ran into you. But he didn't kill Faith's anybody. What? So you leave him alone. Faith's what? You went to find Faith's what? Her fucking apartment. That's no secret. Uh -huh. You saw me there. No, there's more What there, though? You said you were trying to find something. All right, Come on. since you never answered my first question, what did you want from Faith? I'm not telling you shit. No? You have I've actually actually have every Just right to keep you here this around. It ain't illegal, is it? No, but uh, he's not being cooperative. Maybe give him a little truth serum. No fucking way! Yeah. You're out of your mind! As long as Just you cooperate, cooperate then. I'll be nice. This is all up to you. Unbelievable. You're making me do this. I couldn't hurt, I guess. There you go. I get talking. Look, Big B. This isn't going to work. Don't you want to find out what happened to those girls? Yeah. To that's Snow what I'm White? doing. Uh, let me handle this. 
Come on, come on. What did just, you want? I got this blue beard. Sweet girl like her. Sweet? You think that girl was sweet? She was a fucking thief. Fucking sweet. Faith was plenty of things, but that ain't one of them. I mean, you She's... know what she did for a living, right? She stole from you? Not from me. She stole from my boss. Hell, the I ain't boss. got nothing worth taking. Your Who's your boss? boss? So let's talk about your boss, then. You're gonna get me in trouble, Big B. I can't answer any more of your questions. Why not? You're not really in a position to be, uh... Can we move this along? ...giving orders. This I'm nice saving you got that. Here. Too bad. That really sounds like a personal prop. <gasps> I can burn this him. This is really... What's the point of this? Ugh, fuck! Stop, you fucker! Oh, <gasps> something wrong? We were done with this shit. You told me if I cooperated, you'd be nice. You well, fucking you're not cooperating. Liar. Last chance, Steve. Who are you working for? Fuck you! You're a piece of shit, Bigby. Beauty was right Am about I? you. You're just a sick beauty. You're full of shit. Oh, we're good friends. That's enough. Yeah. I will not tolerate this savagery. You think Shut someone up, was trying to kill Snow? Isn't it more likely someone was trying to get back at you by killing her? <coughs> Fuck you. No. What's going on down here? I'm about to beat the shit. What? What? No. You. Your head's not. But. It's on your shoulders. But it wasn't. What? How did. You see. Shit. It. How are you? You're not supposed to be doing the living thing. Don't get me wrong, I'm glad you're alive, but how? What? What? hell was going on down there, Bigby? I was getting answers. Abusing a prisoner like that. I was just doing my job. Oh, that's your job. Beating up people. Getting answers. It, see? There you go. I hope it was worth your time. Uh, not really. Okay, you, you're going to have to explain this because I'm really not getting it yet. After our conversation in the taxi not last dead. night, I got a call from Toad. He said his son found a body. We thought it was Faith at the time. Getting her back here wasn't easy, but hopefully we'll find something on her to help us track down the killer. Or at least to figure out who she is. I should have been there. there. I tried calling the business office, but there was no answer. I couldn't find you, or anyone, so I took care of it. Snow? What is it? I'm glad you're... I'm glad you're not dead. Not dead. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. I just want to get to the bottom of this. I just feel like... What is it? I just... How are you? I feel responsible in a way. She looked just like me. And maybe that's why she was killed. Snow, it's not your fault. But she looked just like me. Yeah, but that's just a coincidence. coincidence. We just have to find out who did this. And why she was glamoured to look like me. Oh, glamour. I mean, that's what it is, right? Okay. So... What's right. our next move? 
that makes sense. Um, figure it out. I'll figure this out. Don't worry. And what am I supposed to do? Sit around the business I'm just office, trying to look out for you. my thumbs, waiting for the big bad wolf to solve all my problems? That's not no. what I meant. Well, then what did you mean? I told you, I'm tired of sitting around. I'm not I going know, to be an but, errand but, girl for Crane anymore. I just want you to be careful. I almost lost you once. I'm and... not yours to lose. Oh. I'm sorry. Ouch. I know it's dangerous, but I'm not helpless. I can take care of myself. I've been doing it for centuries. TJ is waiting inside. He was so freaked out last night, he wouldn't tell us much. Even now, he just stops talking altogether after a certain point. He's pretty shaken up, though, so try not to be too, you know. Trying to be too myself. Right. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm not going to punch him. TJ's over there. I don't know if you want to talk to him first or after, but let me know when you're ready to see the body. I... I want to be there. Buffkin, do you have a second? Of course, Miss Snow. Hmm. Let's see. Toad or let's go talk to let's go see how the little guy's doing. Oh, that's enough. Hey, Amira, finish! Cancel! Oh. What the hell are you doing? Don't even get started with me, Sheriff! What's going on? I saw what you did down there. Is that how you treat your prisoners? Be lying if did I what I had to do. Want to give Tweedledee a good smack after what he put me through, but what you did to him was way over the bloody line. You scared the no. shit out of me, little boy. He saw everything. Why'd you let him watch? Okay, Mr. Toad. No. And what did you expect to see? I thought maybe I'd catch you on the shitter, but I saw something worse, didn't I? That's enough. Why are you? You have a weird fetish, Mr. Toad. Mr. Toad, I deeply regret the distress this has caused you and your son, but right now we need to carry on with the investigation. I will be happy to speak with you about your concerns later, but you must understand how urgent this is. We need to talk to TJ. This ain't over, Big B. Okay. TJ. It's all right. Are you ready to talk to Mr. Wolf? <laughs> Watch yourself, Big B. You do anything to hurt me, boy. I don't want to hurt him. It's okay. Are you okay? Go ahead, okay, little DJ. Guy? I go all swimming right. at night sometimes. In the river. I wasn't doing anything bad. I promise. Of course you weren't. We know you're a good kid, TJ. You're not in trouble. Okay, little guy. Just tell me what happened. I was there, under the big blocks, and I heard noisy feet. And when I hear that, I'm supposed to go underwater and stay real still and quiet. That's right, son. Then I saw... I... I saw the lady! <laughs> it's okay. Careful, oh. Big B. I wasn't. Oh. I know. Okay, that looks really... The okay, I get it. Fell in. It's because I hit Toad. But she didn't have her head on! I thought... I thought she was gonna pull me down, too! Cause, cause she had rocks on her feet, and she kept falling down in the dark parts. <laughs> it's okay. Cinder blocks tied to her ankles. Is there more, TJ? Is it true? 
You know when people are lying? I heard you could do that. That's why you're the sheriff. Please tell the truth. Is there something else? Not, I have no reason. Please, you need to lie to me. I'm don't just be mad. Trying to what help. What is it, TJ? I I didn't stay under the water. What? I know I'm supposed to, but I was scared, and, and I went to the top again. I couldn't help it. I gave you very specific rules. You have to stay quiet and out of sight. Hey. Bad things can happen. I told you. Leave him alone, Toad. He's my son. I've set boundaries for a reason. This is a special circumstance. Leave him alone. What, are you, what do you expect him to do? Just stay there under the water? So you Just didn't stand under watch as the body floats down? I don't know if anyone saw me, but, but someone said, Stop laughing. And then I was scared, and I went under for as long as I could. Wait, you heard someone? Yes. Why didn't you tell us before? Were those the same words they used? Stop laughing? Try to remember exactly what they said. They said... They said... Stop laughing... At me. Did you Someone hear laughing? anyone laughing? No! Okay. <laughs> Sheriff... Did you see anyone? who it was? No! Okay, okay, Bigby, uh, he's... he's frightened. Yeah, I know. Uh, we're, gonna, we're gonna let okay, him go. TJ. I'm sorry. After I came it's up okay. again, there was no one there. And I ran home, that's all. I promise! It's okay. I, go I believe home. you. Okay. You can go. You can go. <laughs> Thank you, TJ. Okay, son. You did a good job, kid. Come on then. <laughs> I like the little guy. I don't really like Mr. Toad that much. Like he's okay, but. He's a bit of an ass. That went about as well as I expected. <sighs> you want to go look at the body now? Mm, yeah. yeah. Come Let's on. go. Oh my goodness! Let's do this. <laughs> Forgetful monkeys.